Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going over the Revlon Style Curl and Volumize Hot Air Kit right here. This is what the barrel looks like. It comes with three attachments and it, you can see it gives you this really soft, bouncy, salon, blow dried out look. I love it. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. <laughs> So, like I said in the beginning, I have the Revlon Style Curl and Volumize Hot Air Kit. This is what the brush looks like right here, and in the back it shows you what it comes with. It comes with a one and a half inch barrel, a one inch barrel, and a smoothing concentrator for precise drying. What the Hot Air Kit includes is high-low pool settings for complete drying and styling flexibility, a cool tip for easy handling, tangle-free, swervel cord, easy for styling, and three-year limited warranty. So I saw this brush at the store the other day and I thought I would just pick it up and try it. I like that it's a hot brush, um, so it's kind of like a blow dryer and a curling iron in one. I have seen the other big Revlon curling iron, but everyone's done tutorials on that, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, my, as you can see, this is my hair out of the shower. It's still a little damp. You do want to do it on a little bit of damp hair, um, not super wet or dry. And as you can see, my hair just falls Flat. It's really long, really straight, but it just lacks a volume, especially on this side. I mean, I might have to change up my part a bit, um, but I do have a lot of hair. It just falls flat, and that's usually my problem, so I like the blow drying technique to give volume, and then, of course, I like to curl my hair, so I feel like this will be perfect for that. So this is my hair so far out of the shower. <laughs> Can't talk today. Um, what I'm going to add in it is this Air Blown Texture Mist Spray. It gives it a little bit of blue. Boost, boost, oh my goodness, I cannot talk to <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet, it's like sitting over there right now and I'm just thinking about it, it's like maybe I should drink more of it before I film this, then I would have been hyper and talking more, maybe I wouldn't have been able to talk. Anyways, <laughs> okay, so back to the hair tutorial. I have the L'Oreal Boosted Air Blown Texture Mist. I like applying this before I blow dry my hair and I just focus it really on my roots. And then for a heat protectant, I love the Iron Guard. If you guys have been watching me, this is all I've been using for years now. Um, it's my favorite heat protectant. So I really focus that more at the end of my hair. I don't really like it on top because I feel like it makes my hair greasy on top. So I kind of stay below the scalp. And then for styling, I use both of these hairsprays. This hasn't changed either. I think I've mentioned this before in old videos. I like using this like on the bottom half of my hair and this on top. Um, it's just how I like doing my hair. <laughs> so we are going to plug this in. It has a long enough cord. It's very light, so I like that, especially because you're going to be blow drying your hair and pulling it, so you want something light. So that's perfect. And then it just comes with this head right here. Oh, I did come with that head. Hopefully that's not broken. And then it comes with the two brushes right here. These are very light too. So we have the one inch right here. So I'm gonna go in with the one and a half inch. And then you just lock it into place. Super easy, super light. The bristles are strong. Now let's turn it on. Uh, let's turn it on. Okay. So really easy to turn on. Does give off hot air, that's for sure. Okay, so we are going to section our hair first. I always like to section my hair into three sections. I just feel like it's the easiest to do it that way. So we're just gonna start with the base layer first. We're gonna start with this base layer. Make sure your hair is brushed because if not the brush, the bristles won't go through it. So you can see my hair glides right over it. And what you're gonna do is wrap your hair around it and pull. And then you can, you twist it a little bit and you pull. That's what's going to give it the curl and the volume. So you'll probably actually want to start up here first. And then pull this way. So I'm going to turn this on and speed through this part. But just to show you, that's the technique that I'm going to be using. Like you see right here, it kind of gave it this light curl. I like that it gave it some volume. 
so we're just going to do that and as you can see at the end what i end up doing is i kind of twist it so that way the curl is there and then you can let it rest so now we're just going to do that to the bottom section of the hair just keep going through it just be patient do small sections at a time and then at the roots you're really going to just want to focus leave it there and then you can twirl it out so it's very easy you just kind of have to get the technique down so as you see i kind of twirled it out and left it to rest you can see it has a little curl right there so it's really giving it that really blown out effect so what i've seen in tutorials what's different about i think it's called the one step which is just this big barrel um hair dryer and that one is really good it seems like if you have curly hair or that one just seems better like if you have curly hair and you want to get it straight this barrel seemed better if you want a little bit of a curl so me having straight hair of course i want it to be curled we always want the opposite but that's why this barrel is better in my opinion so i wash my hair every single day i just like the feeling of clean hair so what i do if i'm in a rush i end up blow drying it and then styling it so this kind of takes the place of just being able to do both in one because i'm always curling my hair but if i can just blow dry and curl my hair at the same time then that takes out one step less so i actually really like that I really like that it's just leaving my hair nice and soft and shiny. So now let's go on to this side. Okay, so I actually went back in it to see if I could give it more curl. Um, I'm a dodo brain and I didn't even have it on the highest setting. Um, it made a complete difference. So I went on the highest setting and right before I kind of like took it out of the curl, I hit it with the cool. And you can see that's a big difference. I'm such a dodo. <laughs> okay, at least that I know that I can do that. So I'm going to do it on this side. So I'm going to let these rest. And I'm going to go on to this section of hair now. And use the highest setting. That's why it'll probably be a lot easier now. Okay, so this is what the bottom layer looks like i actually really like it it looks really soft and delicate i think because you're combing through with the brush the whole time it's really giving it that blowout like effect so i'm actually going to just be using this hairspray to say oh my goodness bianca get it together i'm only going to be doing i'm only going to be using this hairspray today it's enviro 54 hairspray by chi um, just because I just feel like they're really soft and delicate and I don't want to use the stronger hairspray actually so I'm just going to be using it in this one. Okay, so I'm going to just do this layer off camera. It's the same way I'm going to do the first one. Now this top section right here that's going to require a little bit more technique. So I'll come back in once I'm done with this section. It's literally the thing that I did to the bottom I'm going to be doing to the middle section. This one's going to require a little bit more movement and whatnot. So. I'm going to do this off camera because I need to turn on my fan. It's hot. I'm melting. Um, it's not that this is extra hot. It's just a hot day. And I decided to do this in the middle of the day. So it's very warm. So anyways, like I said, I'm going to do this section and then I'll come right back. So this is what it's looking like. You can see it's very volumized and fancy. I'm liking it a lot. Um, it's just more of a soft curl. Like I said, it's already taking the place of having to do a blow dryer and a curling iron. So I enjoy that. Um, I really like the little curl that it leaves. So now we're going to get to the top part. This is the part that you really want to focus and spend more time on because it is going to be where you're going to get most of your volume from. I think I'm going to start on this side first because this is the side where I always lack volume. So I want to probably do that part last. So I'm just going to put this to the side right now. Okay. Now we're going to focus on this section. So with this section, you're probably going to want to blow uh, on the bottom sections, I was flipping back and forth my direction, but this one you're going to want to go up. So you're going to want to blow dry. Oops. You're going to want to keep blow drying up. So we're going to get to the top section now. So why I'm blow drying 
more front is because that's going to give it more volume because our hair doesn't go to our face. We want to push it back, but if we push it back, then there's volume as you can see. So that's why I'm going forward with a lot of my strokes. So you can see I already have a lot of volume. Kind of what I usually do is kind of like a rough draft. So I let it blow dry to create the volume and now I'm going to go in and style it. Okay, so my memory card ran out of memory, so I'm not sure if it grabbed that last clip of me doing this side, which is like the most important side. It's okay, we have one more side to show. But all I did was the same technique, and I, I think I said this in the last clip, so we'll see. But I blow dried to the front, that way it creates volume because we're gonna push our hair back. And what I do is, you guys saw through the technique that I was curling my hair and at the very end I do a cool shot for about like three seconds and then I let it drop and that's what's giving it the little bouncy curl right there. So now we are going to spray it so it sets. And we're going to work on this side now. I just have one more section so hopefully the memory card catches this. So it's just a little section so. We don't have that much to go through. So we're gonna go in with the highest setting. Okay, so I don't know if I'm repeating myself if, if we end up getting that clip, but the first time I do it around, I kind of do like a rough draft. That way it dries my hair. Now I'm gonna go back in and actually style it. So like I said, grab the section of your hair go on the highest setting and curl it just let it curl and then when you're about to let it fall do a pull shot for about three seconds and then that's what creates a curl so i did it for three seconds and a curl <laughs> so it's really just that easy Alrighty. And that's what it looks like. So you can see it's very full and bouncy. Very pretty if I do say so myself. So now we're going to set it with some hairspray. So it really gives you that like salon quality blowout that you don't have to spend that much money on. I know how much expensive blowouts can be, especially if you're getting them every week. This is a nice little kit that you can just do at home. I didn't even tell the price, it was only $20, like that's insane. I really ended up liking it, like I said, it's gonna take the place of the curling iron and the blow dryer, it just forms it into one so you don't have to do both steps. So I actually really enjoy it. So if you guys like these videos of me doing hair tutorials, please give it a thumbs up, it really supports my channel, and subscribe, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next video, bye. <laughs>